Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. I am excited for today's video. It, it sort of happened by accident. I planned to make strawberry freezer jam and I got two flats of strawberries. I only used half of one flat for the freezer jam. So I was left with quite a bit more. We could eat a bunch fresh, the kids love that. But as I thought about it a little bit, I was like, hmm, I should try making strawberry pie. I am also going to be doing like a strawberry shortcake uh, generally we eat our strawberry shortcake with milk. I know a lot of people eat it more as like a dessert. I thought I would just share some different strawberry ideas with you in this video. Hopefully you find it helpful as you go into your strawberry season. We're from Florida, uh, so we have our strawberry season right now, which is during the winter normally into spring. I saw my friend Hannah making some freezer jam and I had seen Dowellers put a video up on freezer jam. so. I was definitely influenced and I'm gonna make some freezer jam. <laughs> All right, here's the one flat and then here's the other one. Uh, I got some eggs and Oakland wanted these cheese balls from Walnut Creek Foods and I got some coconut to have on hand. I got a few limes, a cucumber, some Trail bologna, this is also Walnut Creek Food sells this. If you're looking for it, we love this bologna. Uh, I got an onion, I grabbed some mint, there's half and half, a thing of cabbage, some blueberries, tomatoes, some raw milk, orange juice, baking soda, and then I needed more sugar. And they gave me some free flowers there. They're a little old to sell, so they're giving them out. So that was nice of them. Okay, well, I had parked myself under the tree and forgot about the fact that we have lots of uh, fresh green pollen just floating down. My camera is literally speckled with pollen. Our cars right now are just, they have like a green film over them. I wanted to do something fun in these next couple videos. I'm gonna be doing some giveaways. So in this video, I would like to give a $100 Amazon gift card to one of you. So all you need to do is leave a comment below and be subscribed to my channel. And I will randomly pick one of you uh, in the next couple of days. I will then uh, respond to the, your comment and then also I'll post it in my community tab. So I'll have that information below, but I will be needing to email you the gift card. So hopefully, almost anyone will be able to enter. So I am getting ready to start the freezer jam. I have a bowl of strawberries. I still have literally like one and a half flat left. So we'll see how much this makes. Uh, one recipe is like four cups sugar, four cups strawberries, and then uh, I think like a half a cup of either instant clear gel or I have some sure gel here as well. And you can just use a recipe on the sure gel pack. That one I think requires cooking. The Instaclear gel, you don't have to cook, and I had some on hand anyway. Uh, it does sound like a lot of sugar, I know. Can't really substitute the sugar, it won't like set up properly and stuff. So when you're putting jam on a piece of bread, you're only using like a little tiny amount on a piece of bread. So think of it that way. You're not just like consuming all of this at once. It'll last for a long time. So I'm hoping this time it'll set up for me. Wow. Very fashionable. Perfect for your next showing. Yeah. This would scare a clientele. <laughs> Yeah. 
I just hope I for sure got the right amount of sugar. All of a sudden I was like, was that eight or nine? <laughs> This is what I ended up with. Quite a lot of jam, which is very exciting and it did not take a lot. Uh, these I will leave set out and then I'll put them in the freezer and then you just get them out and they're you know fairly soft. Like you can use it right away if you're not familiar with freezer jam. Uh, especially if you don't have room for canning or if you don't want to spend as much time. You can give these to mom or grandma or whatever if they want to borrow, like if they need some, I can give some to them and so. I also want to take a minute to thank the sponsor of today's video. I've mentioned Walnut Creek Foods here in my grocery haul and if you've been following me for a while, you will be very familiar with them. They are based in Holmes County. They're a food company. They do a lot of distribution. They make a lot of their own foods. They also uh, will ship out a lot of foods to different stores across the United States and they have several retail stores themselves which are called Walnut Creek Cheese. Uh, they're based in Holmes County. So there is a store in Walnut Creek, which is their biggest one. Definitely go check it out if you are visiting the area. Uh, if you're local, you already know about it. And they also have a Walnut Creek cheese store in Berlin, a smaller one. They just have a wide variety of different foods, bulk foods. They have a lot of canned goods, jellies, jams. They have bakery items. They've got like a big deli area for meats and cheeses. They have their like their own line of uh, meats and things. There are a lot of different stores throughout the United States that you will find these products in and they have the little uh, horse and buggy label on them. And I think they're actually working on switching over to like a whole new label. So be on the lookout for that. But they do have an online website. You can even do curbside if you're up in Ohio. I think they do delivery maybe. I'm not quite sure on that. But then they also do shipping. So they have a wide selection of things you can order online. If you are gonna order something online, use my discount code Lynette for 10% off your online order and you can take advantage of that. And I always love hearing feedback from you guys. It just, it's fun to hear who all has found them in stores near you and such, so. So this is the chopper that I grew up, this type of thing that we grew up using. Uh, and this is how we would freeze all of our strawberries. We'd put sugar in it and then we'd freeze them and yeah, they made great desserts, school lunch stuff and yeah, since Florida here, we don't really, I, I mean, I, I think there's you pick areas around maybe somewhere. I just, I have never gone to one and I mean, we do have fresh fruit year round. That is the nice thing. But then I tend to not really put away as much fruit. So I'm trying. How about those berries? Yeah. Okay, Oakland and I are gonna make strawberry shortcake. Strawberry shortcake, that's what I want. Strawberry shortcake. First, we're gonna add in eggs and you're gonna beat them. Let me get, whoop. Let me get a whisk. Were you drinking my iced coffee? Then we're gonna do one cup of milk. Now we can stir that. Do a little bit of vanilla. Oh, fine. It smells good. Three teaspoons baking powder. Mm, let's see. I'm gonna do the sugar first. Okay, can I do that? Yep. -er. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna put some flour in. We're 
gonna do. Yeah, mix that. Yep. Okay. And we're gonna do three teaspoons of baking powder. This makes the cake rise. Two, three. This is harder than I thought. Takes a lot of muscles to stir a cake. Yeah. I'm never gonna get tired of stirring. You what? I'm never gonna get tired of stirring. You're not? Well, okay, keep here. Let's get the edges a little bit. Um, make sure we get all that flour. I'll do it a little fast and then you can do it a little slower. my strawberry pie filling. Uh, I'm just making like the gel part of it. Uh, this is done with clear gel. It is the cook type this time. I actually had Nick pick some up at Balkan Natural because I didn't have the regular cook type clear gel. So uh, I just found a recipe. Most of them are fairly similar, you know, in how they're made, but I'll put all of this stuff in the description box if I haven't mentioned that before. And then I'll go ahead and cool it and then add my strawberries to it. And I have my butter in the freezer right now for my pie, like the crust. I'm gonna use a crust that just takes butter. Want one? I decided I'm gonna go back to Detweiler's and get some more strawberries. So I got two more flats of them. And then I also grabbed a bunch of lemons because I wanna make some strawberry lemonade, some ice cream, and some, I can't think, deli meat. It's dinner time and it's only Harper and I here. I got a gyro. They make like subs and fresh like hot sandwiches there. And they're so good. So for like $8, you can have a fresh hot sub or gyro as I did with tons of stuff coming out. So I'm gonna have some dinner.
Okay, so it is almost eight o'clock and I think I'm gonna save the pie till tomorrow. I'll see y'all in the morning. Good morning. Here's my pie crust. It actually didn't shrink too badly. Uh, sometimes they just wanna like, I mean, it did a little bit, obviously. You can tell like some of the edges are further down, but I put a piece of foil on it first to fit inside and then I took it out. I just didn't want the edges to like scorch. I'm going to fill it with my strawberry pie filling. I think the filling was a little thick, so I watered it down with some water last night. I, I'm gonna stir it again and see how it is now. It's set up really well. So my friend Hannah mentioned that they did puree that they put in the freezer as well. So I decided to do that since I had some extra berries anyway. Uh, it makes for some really good like strawberry lemonades or you could do it as syrup. For this strawberry lemonade, I didn't really use a recipe. So I just poured in a little bit of strawberry puree along with probably about I don't know, six six lemons, maybe five. I squeezed the juice from those and I sweetened it. You can sweeten it however you like. And then I also needed to obviously add water until it was the right uh, taste. It was definitely a refreshing drink and you could totally customize it. So hopefully this is something that gives you an idea for if you are wanting to put strawberries away. Okay, so here's what's left over. I already used some for the pie and then I have some more for fresh eating. We've we had some of that yesterday too. These are all just the sugared crushed strawberries to eat. And then this is puree. So we can either use them for uh, like smoothies or we could use them for lemonade, which is mostly what I'm thinking about. Or you could even use it to drizzle over ice, ice cream or something like that. And then I'll show you what I have out in the freezer already. I have, if I can remember everything properly, this is regular strawberries, I think, here and here. And then this is the jam I made. I should have probably labeled them, but I was lazy. So these are all the crushed strawberries. These can go in like the boys' lunches. And there's some pints in there as well. And then here's this side of it. I've got 
all those pints and quarts in the back there and then this is just puree right here so I'm happy with it I know it won't like last <laughs> forever because especially Jackson is my strawberry freak but it's much more than I had so yeah, we had some for fresh eating, we had a pie. I've got a variety of different things in there. So hopefully this gave you guys some ideas and maybe just get you excited for your strawberry season coming up. I am blessed with the fact that we do usually have strawberries year round. They aren't always like as good. Uh, these are local like fresh Florida strawberries and they're pretty big and pretty tasty this time of year. Uh, but then there's other, other parts of the year that they're not as tasty, you know, but that's kind of normal. But I'm very glad to be done with it for now. If you're still here and you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button, I would love it. Make sure you go check out Walnut Creek Foods in the description box and to see what they have to offer or maybe find them in local stores near you. So I will see you all in my next video. Bye. Stars come to shine